If you're an animal lover, you know how difficult it can be to look the other way when you see an animal in need. It's especially hard if the animal is a small, fluffy kitten with eyes the size of saucers. When you see a tiny, helpless kitten, it's almost impossible not to help. Well, that's something Jill Hicks understands all too well. Facts Verse presents Woman Posts a Photo of a Kitten Only to Realize Her Big Mistake. Before we get into our video, jump down to the comments and let us know what's the cutest cat name you've ever heard. I'm looking for ideas because my wife keeps feeding this feral cat that's outside the back door all the time. Anyway, also be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss our future videos. Jill Hicks is a true animal lover. She has a rescue dog and a rescue cat and spends a lot of her time taking care of them. Because she loves animals so much, she is always willing to help an animal in need. When she saw an animal who appeared to need help one night, she didn't hesitate. She was going to dinner and she saw something unusual. She was driving on a busy highway to meet a friend just like she had done many times before. This time was different, though, because Jill saw a small animal running down the road. It was getting dangerously close to the passing cars, too. It worried Jill enough that she slammed on her brakes, got out of her car, and went to the middle of the road. She thought it was a fluffy bunny and decided to save its life. The passing cars saw Jill and many of them stopped. Finally, she had this tiny fluff ball in her arms. When Jill got to the side of the road with the animal safely in her arms, she realized that was not a bunny, it was actually a kitten. She was so relieved that she had saved the kitten she wanted to take it home right away. Jill called her friend and told her that she'd be late for dinner. She decided that the tiny kitten needed her more than her friend did. Well, when Jill got the kitten into the car, it did not seem all that happy. It was crawling all over the back seat and all over Jill's shoulders. Just then, she had another thought that didn't make her very happy. She had other animals at her house. She wasn't sure how they would accept this new face or if they would at all. And so she decided to keep the kitten in the garage, where she had plenty of essential supplies. After getting the kitten all set up with everything she needed, Jill took a picture of her. She was going to post the photo on social media, hoping to find someone who wanted to adopt her. When Jill returned home from dinner a few hours later, her neighbor came out of the house. The neighbor told Jill that the animal wasn't a kitten. The two women went into the garage and the neighbor told Jill that the sweet kitten was not a kitten, it was something more ferocious. It was actually a baby bobcat. Jill couldn't believe she missed that. The kitten did have oddly shaped ears and a tiny puff on her tail. Well, by this point, Jill didn't know what she had to do. She watched the kitten for a few minutes and the kitten began showing her true nature. Jill watched as the kitten walked around, growling and hissing. Next, she went online to change her post, adding the minor detail that the kitten wasn't really a kitten. Well, that night, Jill didn't want to leave this defenseless little animal on her own, so she decided to sleep in the garage with the baby bobcat and checked on her during the night to make sure she was safe. Jill knew she could not raise a baby bobcat in her home, so after breakfast the next morning, she contacted the local wildlife rescue organization called For Fox Sake. They went to Jill's house to get a look at the kitten, and the rescue employee told Jill the kitten was about seven weeks old. They started calling the kitten Erwin, and the rescuer told Jill that the kitten was very sick. Because Erwin was separated from her mother so early, she had anemia and other health issues. She had to be placed in intensive care, and all Jill could do was watch and hope for the best. In an ideal situation, a bobcat kitten would remain with its mother. Unfortunately, since Erwin was found on the highway, there was no way to figure out where her home den was. Her only hope was for the professionals to watch her health closely. After a few days in intensive care, Erwin's behavior began to change. She was becoming more and more aggressive toward humans. Now, you'd think that would be a bad thing, but actually it was pretty good. It's normal for a healthy bobcat to be defensive when it comes to humans. That meant Erwin was getting strong and healthy, and that's what the rescuers were hoping for. The rescuers wouldn't allow Jill to see Erwin while she was in intensive care, and that made her worry a bit. She wanted to know how Erwin was doing, so she called the rescue many times for updates. An employee told her that the organization planned to release Erwin back into the wild when she was healthy enough to protect herself. While Jill knew that this was what was best for Erwin, she was going to miss this little sassy cat. She may have only spent one sleepless night with the kitten, but Jill says that that kitten stole a piece of her heart that day. 
and the kitten would have that peace forever. When Jill received an update about a month after she found Erwin, the rescuer told her that Erwin was exhibiting normal bobcat behavior. That meant that she was on the fast track to getting back into the wild where she belonged. Jill is not the only person who has confused a wild animal for a domesticated pet. A man from Tucson, Arizona, saw a sign on a house that said, Free Dog. When the man saw the puppy's big eyes and perky ears, he decided right then and there he was going to adopt him. The man named the puppy Neo and realized early on he was getting a lot more than he bargained for. Neo was a bit skittish most of the time, and the man had trouble trying to train him. He worked full-time and was also a student, so he didn't have the time that Neo needed in order to be trained. When he was out of the house, he left Neo in the backyard. Unfortunately, Neo refused to stay put. He would jump the fence to play in the neighbor's yard every day. He installed a taller fence, but Neo chewed right through it. The man found out the reason that Neo wanted to be with other dogs so much was that he was actually a baby wolf. Since wolves are pack animals, Neo wasn't happy being alone. The neighbors were getting fed up with Neo, though, and they drove him to the Humane Society. They were hoping the shelter could hold him until the owner could do something about his behavior. And it was then that they contacted Neo's owner and told him what was happening. After contacting Neo's owner, they called the Wolf Connection in California. It's a wild dog rescue and sanctuary. The people from the Humane Society were hoping that they could bring Neo there. Fortunately, they had space for him. When they told Neo's owner, he agreed to take him to the sanctuary. He understood Neo never really fit in at his Arizona home, and he'd be a lot happier if he had a pack of his own to run with. When Neo arrived at the sanctuary with his owner, he was in excellent physical condition. Before he could join his new pack, though, Neo had to be isolated so the vet could give him a medical clearance to be around other dogs. Neo's owner said goodbye to his friend, knowing that he'd be better off where he was going. Neo got clearance shortly after arriving at the sanctuary, and that night he joined in with other wolf dogs for an evening howl. Neo immediately found Maya, the alpha female, and started making friends. Neo's owner grew to love him while he had him, but he was also thankful that he found out the dog was a wolf. Neo's owner knew that the wolf would never be happy living alone in a house with a human who was rarely home. He was fortunate to have found a place like Wolf Connection to take in Neo so that he could live out his days as part of a pack. The man was sad, but he believed that it was a happy ending. Have you ever rescued an animal from the wild? Tell us your story in the comments, and subscribe for more.